great time. Yes, we are. This is me, Sheen and Patty. And you guys, why do you like to come here on Friday night? Great wine, great friends, and a great time. Patty! <laughs> this is the most beautiful couple. And my favorite teacher at the gym, Julie Hull and her awesome husband, Chris. And what brings you guys out here tonight? We're on a date. You want to come out here and listen to this music and have some good morning? Good. That's awesome. It's good to see you guys. Have a good time. So what are we here tonight for? My birthday. birthday. Oh. So this is Jason from Jason Stevens Winery and he is going to tell us all about how this winery got started and about this lovely Chardonnay that I enjoyed so much last night. Okay Jason, go. So I'm Jason, Jason Stevens Winery. Uh, Jason Stevens Winery is a collaboration between myself and Steve Dorsich. I'm the winemaker and Steve is the wine grower. So planted the vineyard 20 years ago. Uh, been selling this fruit to other wineries in the past, and we've uh, started this project in 2006, broke ground on the winery in uh, April of 07, and in October of 08, we opened up to the public to, uh, for tastings, and then uh, 2007 vintage was our first estate vintage, meaning the wines were grown here, made here, and bottled here. Uh, we're already on our 2010 estate show, so we sold through three or four vintages, and this was a... Uh, this is Stainless steel style of Chardonnay, so we didn't, uh, never went into oak barrels, never, doesn't have any buttery or creaminess to it. It's just nice and crisp and tropical. Uh, so the light crisp shards um, tend to go well with fruitier um, salads. So we do a uh, mango uh, arugula salad with a, like a champagne vinaigrette. Uh, it tends to go really well with this. Uh, that's my girlfriend's suggestion. I never really cook anymore. So, um, cheers. I was so bummed the other day. I, I did some salads. And and I thought everything was fine, and then I went to go load it and show this all. Oh my gosh, it looks so different. Nobody's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, last night was so much fun. Okay, so what's that? What are you drinking right there? This is our 2010 Estate uh, Rosé. So this is made out of Cabernet Franc. Uh, just released. We did a limited production of like 70 cases, so we don't have a lot available. So come down and get it soon. But this one's a nice 
fruity strawberry flavors. Um, so this goes well with a lot of different summer salads. Um, so this was a great one to enjoy while the weather's warm and the sun's out and the rosé's cold. And how would you describe it? Um, this is a very dry uh, rosé, very acidic and very fruit forward. It's a very, uh, very, very pleasurable in the mouth. A little, a little carnival in the mouth. Oh, excellent. Excellent. I'll definitely have to try that one. So Jason, what do you guys do exactly on Friday nights here? So May through September, we throw one of the best parties around. Um, every Friday night from 6 to 9, we've got a, a different band that comes in. Uh, it's live music. It's 21 and over. Um, we've got great wines. We've got caterers out and uh, a really great crowd that comes out and enjoys the wines. And great company. You always see friends that you haven't seen in a while. So it's, uh, it's a blast. Good time. Excellent. Yeah, last night was a blast and we'll definitely have to come back next Friday too. So. with another episode of Salad and Wine. And today I'm so excited because we are going to have the Jason Stevens Rosé. And I'm actually preparing my lunch. And then afterwards, we're gonna go wine tasting and go hit some of our local wineries. On the third weekend of every month, there's several wineries that are open locally and we get to go and check them out. So, I'm starving. I just got home from church, so I'm going to make a quick salad. It's like two o'clock and I haven't eaten yet. So anyways, just have a little bit of wine. I don't want to have too much since we are going to go tasting. And I'm not sure exactly where we go are going. I think we're going to go to Martin Ranch, possibly Creekview. There's a street that you can just drive up and down and a bunch of the wineries are open. And that's actually called Watsonville Road. Creekview happens to be right next to me, so I'm so lucky. Okay, that's a beautiful shade of dark pink. Oh, it smells so good. Woo! Oh, that's nice. It's crisp. It's perfect for this time of day. So, I am starting this thing called the Salad and Wine Diet. And it's our book. And I will be writing my recipes and putting down the calories. And we're going to have some salads for breakfast, which is just going to be my handy dandy blend tech. And anyway, so look forward to that. And as you know, I will always post my recipes on the website. So we're starting with a big bowl of arugula. And then we're going to add some watermelon. And so all of the recipes will be healthy, low calorie recipes, and they will all be marked out like you'll know what the calories are based on a single serving size and our wine pours will probably be between four and six ounces so you'll know what the calories are that would you know you choose how much you want to have so this is one of those little mini watermelons and i'm just going to cube a few pieces of it and put it on top of the salad and there's hardly no seeds in here. Occasionally you'll get a little black seed, but just pick those out. They're fine. They won't hurt you. So just a little bit of watermelon. And then we're gonna put a little bit of feta. This is a super easy, quick salad. The, the trick is in the dressing though. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of salad or I'm gonna put some feta, two tablespoons, two heaping tablespoons. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna put some toasted pine nuts. This is only a tablespoon of toasted pine nuts. And there you go. And now I'm going to make a really nice low acid vinaigrette dressing. And these salad ideas actually were Jason from Jason Stevens, his girlfriend, who I have not met, but these were her suggestions to pair with the rosé wine. So as you know, I love using my Blend Tech to make salad dressing. 
and we are going to start this off with a quarter cup of olive oil. And then a quarter cup of Sauvignon Blanc vinegar. A tablespoon of Dijon. garlic clove. You don't need that much garlic in this one. Okay, the dressing is ready. And so it makes about, what, about a half a cup of dressing and we are going to put two tablespoons on our salad. Since we need some protein with our meal, I'm actually serving it with a Morning Star black bean, I think it's black bean chipotle burger. I found these actually at Costco. They are spicy and delicious, but I just wanted to serve the salad with a little bit of protein since we're going to have a busy day and I, my body needs more protein. So anyways, that's it. Really quick, really easy. I will post the calories and the fat grams and all the other nutrition information. And this is Tracy with Salad and Wine, Jason Stevens Rosé, Arugula Watermelon Salad. Bon Appetit. Hi, this is Tracy with Salad and Wine, and today we are going to have a wonderful Jason Stevens Chardonnay and spinach salad. So, first things first. See how that goes. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's see how this wine is. Hmm. Color looks nice. A little light. Smell is good. It's very fruity. I think <laughs> it's very tasty and it's going to go great with a spinach salad. <sighs> okay, so since we've started the salad and wine diet, we are going to do a single serving salad so that I can give you the exact calories and backgrounds and all that stuff. So this will be a side salad and you will need to serve it with a little bit of like chicken or, or fish or some sort of a protein on the side, okay? And so we're going to start off with a couple cups of spinach, just like so. And one thing I like to do with spinach is to chop it up, okay? Then you don't have the, the leaves the spinach flopping all over your face. It just makes it a little easier to eat. And I just like chopped salad occasionally, especially with big leaves. So if you can't slice it small, then you, then you, if you can't chop it small, then you cut it with scissors. And of course they're pink for breast cancer awareness. Pink's my favorite color, so I have a lot of stuff that's pink. Okay, that's all nice and fine. The second thing we're gonna do is we have pear. So we're gonna take a pear and we are going to slice them and put it inside the salad. And these have been washed already. Actually, you know, this one's softer. I'm gonna use this one instead. So these have already been washed. I'm just going to cut a bit of the pear and put it in the salad. That one was just too hard. I like the pear to be a little bit on the softer side so that it doesn't get all crisp and hard like an apple. Okay? So just take a half a pear and put it in the salad. It's 
So today, my husband and I, Pete, we went on some winery tours. That was really fun. And that's the best thing about the weekend is we can go wine tasting. Our favorite thing to do after church. Okay, so we've got some pears. And then, oh wait, that came from the dressing. Okay. This is a creamy goat cheese, but it's already crumbled. And that's the trick. You want to have it already crumbled otherwise it's hard to crumble I sometimes buy like that log of goat cheese and then I try to put it in a salad and I only can slice it and then you gotta kind of mix it up yourself but this I love because it's already crumbled so because I'm a big fat cheese lover I'm actually gonna put two tablespoons of goat cheese in this salad okay Easy. And then a little bit more wine. The next ingredient we're going to use, I had some slivered almonds. I toasted them in the toaster oven. So you just put it on for like 10 minutes and then you um, just let them sit and cool. Actually, I don't need to measure. This is a tablespoon of slivered almonds and that's nice okay the last thing is we're gonna make a champagne vinaigrette a super easy simple one because everything I do has to be easy so we put some champagne vinegar which I love into the blend tech and then we put some olive oil And then the shallot, which I forgot to get ready and peel. So I'll have to peel it now. <laughs> These things are so hard to peel. Like the skin does not want to come off. If anybody has a tip for getting skin off a shallot, well, yeah, let me know. The garlic I can buy already peeled, but the shallots, not so much. And actually, because it's a small quantity of dressing, we're making actually four servings of dressing, so you can use them at a later time, which is nice because since you're gonna be buying all these ingredients, this is something that you can make more often. So just save your dressings in little jars and label them so that you know what flavor they are and then you can use them later on in the week. That's tip number one. Okay, so now we just need two more things. Some Dijon mustard. Actually, we're gonna put in one tablespoon of Dijon. We can get it in there. Okay. And then one teaspoon of agave. It's just gotta have a hint of sweetener. I love agave nectar because it is low glycemic, so it's not going to spike your blood sugar. We want all of our food to be low glycemic. There we go. Now we're going to stir it up in the blood tuck. Okay, cover your ears. That is all done. Very good. So now what we're going to do is just take two tablespoons of dressing and put it on the salad. So this recipe will make four tablespoons or a quarter cup, four servings of dressing. Not four tablespoons, but four servings. And then we'll store this in a little jar. And you can double the quantity if you want, but because of these purposes and because I make a lot of salads, I, I make really small portions. And then the final touch is some cracked pepper. So there you have it, spinach and pear salad, Jason Stevens Chardonnay, bon appetit.